Mother, can you explain what is redefines and renames? What is the basic difference between that? This would be one question. Uh, is uh, redefine is the uh, different data description entries at the same storage uh, area and uh, renames is declared at the uh, 66 level number and it is the grouping of uh, elementary data item mm, in a record. Mm -hmm. Mm, and uh, redefines is declared at the uh, uh, at the same level. Uh, mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. And it should not declare with 66 and uh, 77 level numbers. 88. 66, yeah, sorry, 88. 88. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> Along with that, you need to tell what are the limitations with respect to redefines, what are the limitations okay. with respect to redefines. If you answer these two points only, then only the interviewer can understand you are good with that concept. Okay. The limitations okay. is compulsory because if you see here, I always given uh, yellow highlighting uh, whenever you uh, see some concept. That means that is the important point with respect to that. Okay. So redefines is basically uh, allows you to use two different uh, data description entries for a single storage uh, uh, for a single space basically so if if you are using let's say nine of six has taken some, some space in the memory so with that nine of six we can even declare sp same space with x also i mean different data description so the basic concept of uh, redefine is redefines is basically saving memory with uh, within uh, with same uh, variables because we are using two different variables with two different data descriptions but it it always uh, reflects to the it always points out to the same memory so that is the basic concept of redefines coming to renames it is basically regrouping of elementary items into a new name it is not it, it does not deal with the data description it does not uh, you should not tell anything about uh, data description in redefines it is basically regrouping of elementary items into one new name that is the basic answer you should given to the renames so renames should always have 66 level this is one compulsory uh, point you need to mention when you are explaining renames okay and limitations is that it cannot have 66 and 88 levels it should uh, basically follow immediately whatever the redefined item this is the redefined item because here, if you look at uh, WS redefined date, it is redefining WS date. So it should immediately follow this. Coming to renames also, the after elementary groups, we should have a renames class. That is, that is the basic uh, uh, limitation with respect to renames. It should be declared at 66 level. It need not be followed the data item. That means this one, uh, which is being renamed. This is being renamed, right? It should not uh, follow immediately. But even in elementary groups also, we can have one more elementary group. Okay. Let, let me give one example. 0, 5, WS, CAR 5. It can have. But we are only redefining from where? From uh, WS 143 to WS uh, CAR 4. So this is what we are uh, renaming. Uh, we are not including this because it is not immediately following whatever the fields it is re, uh, renaming, regrouping it. Okay. Is there any questions with respect to this? I want you people to understand these concepts. Because these are the um, compulsory questions in the interviews. It is used to regrouping of elementary items. Here we are regrouping the elementary items. These two items are renamed with this uh, new name. Add response is a new name. It is being renamed with this. So that is the basic concept here. If you look at here, I'm only re uh, renaming this one element right. I'm not two element right items. Only this element right item I'm re renaming. It. So it is not included because it is not immediately followed zero five level also. Whatever it is being renamed, it is not following, right? It is having an intermediate variable between them. So this is one basic point. And renames cannot be done at 0, 01, 77, 88. This should be one uh, limitation which you should tell uh, when you are answering the interview question. Sunil? Yes, sir, this is clear now. Can you tell me what is redefines and renames? 
one point is enough for me. If you are able to grab C1 one point, that is good for me. What is renames and redefines? Sunil, I want you to write down all these questions in a separate notebook, Sunil. Yes, Satish. Uh, you want to ma you should maintain a separate notebook with respect to all these interview questions. Okay. Rashikar, can yes, you answer yes, what is sure, uh, uh, redefines and renames? Rashikar? Rashikar. You don't want to talk also. Good. So basically, let me explain once again. Redefines class allows you to use different data description entry to describe the same computer storage area. Basically, here we are referring to WS data name. It is being uh, what redefined with a different data description entry. If you look at here, um, uh, the nine of six is being replaced with X of zero two. Here X uh, represents alpha numeric. Here nine represent nu numeric data type. So you are different uh, for a same data. You are using two two different data descriptions. That is the basic concept of redefines. And you are using the same storage space. Here store space is being saved, and also you are using two different data description. That is the basic concept of redefines. It allows you to use different data description entry. If you look at here, it is nine of six. If you look at here, it is X of two. So it is using two, two different data description entries to, to describe the same computer storage area. Here, nine of six and X of two are referring to same compu uh, storage area. Same, it is pointing to same address of storage because uh, if nine of six is being stored at uh, uh, like uh, at the rate one two three address, it it x of two also referring to that same address only. It is not referring to any different address. Basically, it ref, uh, refers to same address. So only the data description changes. The data is also same. Uh, uh, the data is same, but the data the, uh, I mean variable name and the data, uh, description of the variable is different. That is the basic uh, concept of redefines. So what are the limitations with respect to redefines? Redefines class should not immediately follow, uh, sorry, you should immediately follow the whatever the uh, redefined data item. If you look at here, WS data name, it is immediately uh, redefined data is, uh, name is WS redefined date. So it is immediately following whatever it is being redefined. It is WS data is redefined with WS redefined date. So it is immediately following that. There are no other variables inter uh, present in between those two variables. So that is one limitation you should always tell to the interviewer. And it, uh, one more point is it cannot be done at 66 and 88 level. Okay. Any questions with respect to this? Guys, any questions? No, Satish. No, Satish. So uh, let me look at what is renames. Renames is basically regrouping of elementary uh, data and uh, data items into a new name. Okay, it is used to regroup elementary data items in a record. If you look at here, we had an elementary group this one. Okay, and there is one more elementary group WS car. So what I am doing, let's say if there is uh, one more elementary group. Okay, so when I want to group, uh, give a new name to these two groups, uh, then I will uh, use renames class. So it, it basically represent a re regrouping of two elementary data items into a new name. That is the basic concept of that. It does not deal with any uh, uh, like data description. It no, does not deal with the data description. The data description is always same here, but we are giving it two different names. That is the basic concept of renames and it should always be declared at 66 level. Okay. 
that is the basic concept this is the limitation basically and it it, it is not uh, necessary that it, it is it should immediately follow the re renamed uh, uh, elementary groups because it can have a, uh, a variable in between them but we are only regrouping these two uh, uh, elementary items we are not renaming this so that is the basic concept all rename associated with one logical record must be immediately follow the record last data description entry so what does this point uh, mean is let's say i'm renaming these two right uh, with respect to this group there is one more element item after this element item whatever the last element item then only we should use 66 it cannot have any other 01 level here zero 01 level here if it is 05 that is fine but it should not have a group level here basically that is the point that is uh, uh, the limitation is basically so along with that, you should tell whenever the interviewer asks, you should tell the limitations also. Renames cannot be done at 01 level, 77 and 88 and another 66 level also we cannot rename. This should be one basic question they will ask. Can we rename another 66 level uh, uh, with uh, new rename? They, you should tell that, uh, no, we cannot done. Okay, are we good here, guys? <laughs> For a rename, we can't give to this WS response uh, group item. Group item, I didn't get your question. Actually, we are using rename, right? Uh, uh, like uh, add a response, uh, mm -hmm. rename the WS response. Is it possible? No, no, that is not possible. Basically, it is. If you look at here, it it uh, the uh, definition itself yeah, says yeah, 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 it is yeah, an elementary uh, regrouping of element item. It cannot be done at the zero one level also. If you look mm, at okay. it, it's a zero one level. You cannot okay. done that at zero one level. Uh -huh, the okay, concept okay. is deals with elementary data only. It is not. Uh, we cannot do renames with uh, zero one level. Okay, so we got it. Only elementary groups. Let's say if you had five element uh, elementary groups after zero one, if you want to rename second and third or fourth and fifth or one to four, one to five, these things you can do with renames. Basically, you are regrouping elementary items with a new name. That's it. Nothing else you are doing. You are giving a new name to uh, a group of elementary items. And that is the basic concept there. But to be frank, we will not be using this logic, this uh, renames class in any, any of the project. I have never seen this renames class. So if they ask this question also, are you used with renames? You should blankly say, I have never used that because no one will use this. This is one of the waste concept which is present in the COBA. Okay. Guys, are we good here? Renames and redefines. Yes, Satish.